Hey, buddy. You getting ready to go for a walk? Yeah. Today is Father's Day, and Britt got me a new Father's Day t-shirt for the occasion. Happy Father's Day! He was wearing a Father's Day shirt too. You just can't see it over his buckle. Yeah. <laughs> it says Daddy's First Father's Day. We'll show you later. It's not a dad bod. It's a father figure. <laughs> Got a little friend back there. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. <laughs> How is it? Very good. Big cheese curds. Nice. All fathers get free suckers. Because they know we're just big kids. They're also giving out free rides to dads. Josh isn't feeling it this year, but maybe next. Chevy, you want to... Put this into the weed whacker for me. That'd be great. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Got the yard mode out here. Trying to get some stuff done. Our weed whacker, or weed eater, as it's called. Ran out of string, so better refill it. Britt is just at the store right now printing off some uh, some pictures and Theo is sleeping just inside there I got the windows open so I can hear him and I'm out here trying to trying to relax summer in the city is what the fair is called that comes to town every summer in the city it was just winding down already today we didn't go yesterday we were busy yesterday with our uh, baby shower, which went really well. Uh, it wasn't uh, a huge, huge crowd, but I come from a big family, right? So we had, I think we had about 50 people, right? Uh, we had rented a hall and it turned out really well. We had a good turnout. And it was really nice just to celebrate with our close family and friends, Theo's life, that he exists. Theo's existence, very special little guy. It was his big day. He did good the whole time. Didn't cry once, didn't fuss once, just loved being held. So today, when I'm filming this, as you know already, it's Father's Day, wearing my Father's Day shirt, going on a nice Father's Day walk. Britt has asked me what I want to do with the rest of my day, and I said, I just want to sit on the porch with my family. I want to sit on the porch, and uh, I want to have ribs for supper. So we have ribs in the freezer at the shop. I'm just going to quickly run there and grab those. That way we don't got to spend a whole ton of money, right? I don't... I don't need to spend a whole bunch of money to celebrate being a dad. I already have Theo. That's all I need. I just need my family. How's it going, Old Blue? You ready for the truck show next weekend? By the time you watch this, it'll probably be close to that weekend or 
somewhere around there. June 24th, there's the truck show here in Steinbach. And uh, you know, last year I was all excited to go. Turns out I couldn't make it last minute and uh, I was disappointed, but this year's a new year, I'm gonna be there. I've already told this batch, I said, I, I missed last year, I'm not gonna miss this year, okay? So they're not gonna send me it too far this week or if they do, they'll send, they'll figure something out. Cause I gotta be home for next weekend, it's the truck show. It's technically, since I've owned it, Old Blue's first truck show. It's been in some before. I think it's actually been in this one before with the previous owner. Uh, he'll probably be there as well. Uh, though he doesn't have his own truck anymore. I have it. It's mine now and I'm not giving it back. Diesel, you smell that? You smell that? Chevy, you smell that? Smells so good. The house it smells like a rib making factory. That's what they call me. Mm -hmm. It's my middle name. Rib making factory? Yes. That's, that's the one. The more you know. Yeah. <laughs> Some potatoes here. Oh my. She's going all out. A special occasion or something? It's Father's Day. It's Father's Day. And I didn't have the ingredients to make what you wanted, so we can arrange check on that for next weekend. Ribs always satisfies. So Britt made my first Father's Day super special. I had a really good day. And she went uh, all out with her Father's Day gifts too. I just wanted to show you this here. Little envelope. It's a gift certificate. Get my pickup truck detailed finally. Because it's so embarrassing having people in my pickup truck because it's so dirty. It's also the, the vehicle that we use to move the dogs around. And bring Chevy to daycare or, you know, bring, bring Big Frank to get his nails done, right? His potticures. Your potticures. Like <laughs> you had yesterday. Hi, Theo. Good morning, Dad. Hi. Good morning. This gift was from you, I heard. Oh. It's a big one. Must have been working hard already. He's already got a job. Start him young. <laughs> it's a, a gift to get to the Detailing Glass Company here in Steinbeck. They're great. They do a really good job. Thanks, Theo. And a very special book. That kind of made me tear up a little bit when I opened it up. It's a custom made Daddy's Magic Hugs for Theo. Truly there's nothing as magical as a hug. And the hugs that matter most are from the people who love us best. I love you Theo. Daddy I love you too. And the whole book is about different hugs. This is for Theo and his amazing daddy on your very first Father's Day together. I love you both more than you will ever know, Mommy. I was choking up a little bit when I opened this the first time. So I'll read like the first page. It says, I'm just waking up to the bluest of skies. What kind of hug helps me open my eyes? The good morning kind that squeezes me tight. A hug from my daddy is always just right. She also got me a card to my husband on Father's Day. The happy marriage checklist. All the boxes are checked. Inside. Happy Father's Day. 2023, which means that there's going to be more. <laughs> Every year. The rest of our lives. Every day. Every year. I can't every day is every Father's day. day. I don't have that kind of energy. <laughs> the boys also got me that gift that I showed you already. The shirt. It's not a dad bod. It's a father figure. <laughs> Thanks, guys. 
means saved up all your allowances. All your milk bones. Lots of milk bones. You paid with milk bones. That's nice. Should be paid with fluff. Oh. You gave up some of your fluff for me? Wow. So I know you're watching this well after Father's Day. Is Father's Day a thing in other countries as well? I'm, I'm assuming it's the same across at least the English-speaking world, right? The Anglosphere, as they call it. Canada and the US. The UK, Australia, New Zealand. Is it Father's Day in Europe too? Or in anywhere else around the world? Anyways, it was a really good one. Uh, like I was saying, Brit made it, uh, <coughs> excuse me, Brit made it so special. And, you know, we didn't really, even really do anything. We went to the fair, walked around a little bit. I just wanted to see everything. Didn't go on any rides or anything, you know. Uh, Brit bought a poutine and we got like this uh, natural lemonade, blueberry lemonade thing, which is pretty good. And I'm sort of wrapping this up a couple of days later. But and we came home, sat on the porch all day. That's all I wanted to do. I just wanted to sit on the porch. It was such a beautiful day. One sec. One sec here. Very important. Good morning. What can I get for you? Could I get an extra large coffee with uh, two cream and a shot of espresso in it? And a, uh, a sausage farmer's wrap with creamy barbecue sauce instead of chipotle? Sure, let me see. Barbecue? Yeah. I'm sorry, what was uh, in your coffee? Uh, two cream and a shot of espresso. And that was extra large, right? Yep. Okay. Anything else? Uh, and a hash brown. Okay, so is that everything for you today? That's it. 10 10. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, I forgot to say super duper. Gotta bring that back. Haven't said that in a while. Whenever I go through a drive thru, I used to say super duper. And there was only one place that ever responded with something clever, and that was Sage Creek, Winnipeg, Tim Hortons. I would say, super duper, and he'd be like, awesome possum. <laughs> Never been able to get anyone anywhere to respond with a clever response like that ever again. But Yeah, I just wanted to wrap up this video. It was sort of like a little bit all over the place. This next week, we're going to be heading out on another trip. Unfortunately, we got to go back to work. You all understand. We gotta get a new house. Got a one-track mind. Got many other things going on, but uh, the, the one goal right now, our main goal, get into a bigger house. It'll be a little while. We gotta, it'll be probably a couple of years, but how we're looking at now. They bought some new tires for the truck and uh, got the safety. The safety was a little pricey this year because there's a bunch of things that need to be updated and replaced. But we'll be okay though. Thanks for uh, hanging out with me today. I hope you guys had a great day. Happy belated Father's Day to you. I'm gonna grab my Timmy's now and uh, we'll start the next video. Oh, I forgot. Oh, I didn't get this ready. Hi, Ken Ken. Hi. I've got this, uh, as soon as this opens up. Oh, oh, sorry. I should have had this ready. It's gonna show up soon, I think. There it is. And I'll pay with the card. There we go. Thanks, you too. Timmy's! Timmy's! Timmy's, Timmy's. It's gonna be a good day. I'll see you in my next video. Take care.